math. It's all around us. It is prevalent in nearly every part of our everyday lives. Yet, many people feel like this about math. Ugh, math is my least favorite subject. Math is boring. I'm not a math person. Too many people accept a notion they are either good or bad at math. Sharing those types of thoughts with children can contribute to math anxiety, which could lead to decreases in student achievement. When it comes to mathematics, always be positive and encourage children. Support their development of a growth mindset by looking at mistakes as learning. Celebrate opportunities for the brain to grow. Instead of focusing on what children cannot do, let's build from the skills children have. It is critical that we acknowledge the strengths of our children and build a foundation based on what they can do. Find the things they know how to do and emphasize those skills. Identifying students' interests and talents unlocks opportunities to get students involved in the learning of mathematics because the mathematical connections make sense and have meaning. It is important that we nurture math and mathematicians. Create mathematical environments and experiences that children want to be a part of. Math is more than just adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. It is about problem solving, critical thinking, understanding, and seeing the beauty of the world around us. Puzzles and games help students learn through play, where they can achieve and build enthusiasm about math. Find opportunities to explore math in everyday life, at the grocery store, shopping, on the roads, in nature, and so much more. We are all math people. By staying positive about math in our lives, Focusing on the skills children have, we can fully nurture and develop mathematicians that can change the world for the better. We can start now to ensure a bright future. You can find resources to support children in programmatic levels, K2, 3-5, to 6-8, 9-12 on the Math for Life website at wvde.us slash mathforlife. Let's unite with numeracy.